Hi, Colin McDowell here. Welcome to another episode of Colin's Corner at Home. Today we're talking about the APB-8. That's right, it's new, it's now just nationwide, and it's shipping. Now the APB-8 has all the functionality and capability of the APB-16. It just has eight channels instead of 16 channels. But all those APB plugins we're making, they'll work on an APB-8 just as well as an APB-16. You may have also heard that we've supported other DAWs besides Pro Tools now. That's right. If you have an APB-8 or an APB-16, you can take the APB plugins that come with it and use them on Pro Tools or Logic or Cubase, other DAWs that support AU and VST3. Yeah, we're compatible. Hot dang. Some folks have asked, can I stack APB units on top of each other? You know, two APB-8s, three APB-16s, two APB-8s, and four APB-16s, whatever you need to do. The answer is yes. We've made the chassis entirely out of anodized brushed aluminum. There are no fans in it. We've done all this stuff so the unit will stay cool. We even use super extra fancy parts inside to keep it cool that way too. Some people have asked, hey, can I use the MUX mixer and other APB plugins at the same time? The answer is yes. You can actually use just a single mono or stereo channel from the MUX mixer, and something we call the MUX channel, or you can use the entire MUX mixer plugin to control all the MUX channel plugins assigned to that mixer. That's a whole mix and match deal. But within that, if you have other APB channels available and you want to bring up, say, a chicken head or a C18 or an L18, all those plugins can be used in whatever combination you want inside your session. You can also use more of the same plugin more than once. If you want to have five C673As on your session and maybe two L18s, you can do that. Any combination of APB plugins is possible. The only limitation is how many APB channels do you have in your box or boxes. What other types of APB plugins are coming? What you have in mind? What's the plan? What's on the horizon? We've got a lot in the queue. For example, the MUX mixer, that's pretty much the newest thing. You know, a hybrid combination of digital EQ with analog compression and saturation and the world's first total software controlled hybrid mixing console. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What else? The APB, by its nature, is quite the grab bag of different types of distortion and saturation features. So we'll definitely be making some plugins that sort of explore those new ways of mangling your signal in a purely analog domain kind of way. There's also multiband applications. A lot of folks have said, hey, I like the compression. I want multiband compression. Surround. A lot of customers do surround. They want to know what kind of surround applications we'll be coming out with. Yeah, that stuff's coming too. Careful what you wish for. For those of you that want to see an APB-8 or an APB-16 firsthand, well, if you go to our website at mcdsp.com, there's an APB dealer section, and in there you can contact your local dealer about getting the demo for yourself. Now, for those of you that perhaps can't get to some of these dealers for whatever reason, then I suggest you email us at support at mcdsp.com, and we can inquire in certain cities about getting you a demo firsthand. Sidechain support. Everybody wants it. Don't worry. It still works in the APB plugins as well. That's right. Whether you're in Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, AAX, AU, VST3, we have sidechain support and it works great in those APB plugins. Hot dang. What kind of computer do I need to run the APB8 hardware? Well, whether it's a laptop, one of those new fancy super cheese greater max from Apple, or anything in between, as long as you have a Thunderbolt 2 or Thunderbolt 3 connection, you should be fine. Now, you do need to have an audio interface that has word clock output, so you can make sure your audio interface and your APB hardware are always synchronized. But other than that, laptop, iMac, even one of those new Mac minis, yeah, that'll work. When you bypass an APB plugin, do those APB channel resources get allocated back to the system? Good question. The answer is currently no. Because when you bypass the plugin, then you'll get all sad and depressed and realize how cool the APB was and you want to put it back in right away. However, if you deinstantiate the APB plugin or if you deactivate the plugin, like on DAWs like Cubase, which let you deactivate and reactivate the plugin as well as bypass and unbypass the plugin, that deactivate and reactivate action will deallocate or reallocate the APB channel resources in the system. I hope this has answered some of your questions about the APB hardware. Thanks for watching. If you have other questions you'd like to send us, let us know in the comments section below. 
and we'll be sure to answer them in an upcoming video. If you'd like to see other videos about APB functionality or plugins or other regular plugins from McDSP, just let us know in the comment section below and we'll get to that stuff too. Thanks.